Get over it. Each team has one robot and three human players, two driver operators and a coach, who can be a student or an adult mentor. The robot must be constructed from materials specified in the FTC manual, so it obviously won't look like these. All robots must fit within an 18-inch sizing cube at the start of the match, but can expand to any size during match play. Two teams make up an alliance. Your ally in one match might be your opponent in another. The scoring element is a baton, cut from half-inch PVC pipe. 100 batons are used in the game. They are stored in six dispensers arranged around the field. Each alliance is also given five batons that can be preloaded onto the robots. In addition, there are two doubler batons and four magnet batons, which look just like regular batons and are randomly loaded in the dispensers. The game is played on a 12-foot square field covered with interlocking foam tiles. On opposite sides of the field are the red and blue alliance stations. And on field, there are four taped off starting areas for the robots. There are three red and three blue baton dispensers mounted around the field in high, medium, and low positions. Each loaded with 15 batons. The medium height dispensers have an infrared beacon mounted near the bottom. Each alliance has a corrugated plastic stationary goal with a cliff leading up to it. There are four rolling goals, two red and two blue, and a mountain is located at the center of the field. On either side of the mountain are two bridges that can pivot up and down, but have a naturally level balance point. A 40-second autonomous period starts the match. Human control is not permitted. Baton scored will count twice, once at the end of autonomous period, and again at the end of the match. Immediately after the autonomous period is a two-minute driver controlled period. The last 30 seconds of this period is the end game. You may not contact your opponent's bridge during the end game. If your robot is parked on a cliff at the end of the autonomous period, it counts three points. Parking a robot on the mountain or an unbalanced bridge is worth five points. And parking on a balanced bridge is worth 15 points. Having a robot on the dispensing side of the field counts 10 points. Dispensing batons from your alliance's dispenser counts 2 points each. A regular or magnet baton scored in the stationary goal is worth 1 point. A regular or magnet baton scored in a rolling goal large cylinder is worth 3 points. A regular baton scored in the 2-inch cylinder isn't worth anything. However, a magnet baton scored in the 2-inch cylinder counts 25 points and the doubler baton will double the score for all batons in a goal. At the end of a match, a robot or rolling goal balanced on a bridge counts 10 points. Two elements, robots or rolling goals, balanced are worth 20 points. Three elements are worth 30 points. And if you have both robots and both rolling goals balanced, it counts 40 points. We want you to always keep gracious professionalism in mind. Violating certain rules will result in score reduction or even disqualification. For example, pinning another robot. Or intentionally descoring batons or tipping over an opponent's rolling goal. Thoroughly study the game manual and field drawings for complete details. Good luck, teams!